Did you know your work environment has a huge impact on your focus, your productivity, and your motivation for getting your studying or your work done? Sometimes it's good to change things up and work in a new space. And you know what? Follow me. Ah, much better. Now in this video, we're gonna go over some of my five favorite places to study that are not your home or your school. Let's get started. First up is the tried and true library. Now this place is free. You have public libraries all over the country. They're usually easy to access. They have free Wi-Fi. they have computers, and they have lots of resources at your disposal. There's even study rooms sometimes that you can reserve ahead of time. Libraries are supposed to be quiet, so it's a great place to focus and to cut out all other distractions. If you're lucky, even sometimes you can find test prep resources like these books here. Spot number two, one of my favorite places to study is a cafe or local coffee shop. Now, of course, you do have to buy something in order to work at these places. You can't just squat for no reason, and it's good etiquette not to stay there for hours and hours, but a little caffeine jolt is always a good thing to get started studying. A lot of coffee shops also are optimized for working with outlets and free Wi-Fi. Or if you need a spot where you don't want to be distracted by the internet, you can always turn off your Wi-Fi when you're working at a place like this. That extra noise or buzz of a coffee shop sometimes is really helpful when focused Scene. Some people just love that ambient noise and the social pressure to work and make it look like you're doing something there that's purposeful and not just daydreaming. A lot of people say if you buy a coffee at a coffee shop and you work there, it's sort of like paying rent to that location, which I think is a good analogy, and it does make it worth it to work in a different environment. Of course, there was always the tried and true Starbucks or Panera or some of those big chain coffee shop locations that lots of people love to work at. I prefer to choose a local business or so a locally owned coffee shop with maybe slightly more expensive prices, but much better ambiance. Now, if you actually want to pay rent and work in somewhere else, there are spaces called co-working locations. Now, some of these are free or they have free or almost free trial deals for students. So I would definitely look into those if there's one available in your city. Where I live, there's a free co-working space. And as long as you sign up to become a member, you can go. A co-working space is basically like an open office area for people who don't actually have an office. So there'll be a lot of other working adults there. It'll be quiet. Maybe there'll be a little bit of background noise, but it's a really nice working space. And in general, people can be very productive there. Make sure you check if it's open to the public before you go or if you need to do any sort of sign up in order to participate. And unlike a coffee shop at a co-working location, you can be there for as long as you want all day if need be. If you enjoy being outdoors and it's nice weather, a park is another great spot to go to and study. Take a blanket, bring your books. If you don't even need Wi-Fi, you can be here for as long as you want, distraction free, and the great outdoors or the sounds of nature can often be really calming or relaxing. Sometimes it's also good just to get fresh air and be out and about. I love working outside whenever I can enjoying the nature sounds and being in a different location. Now, again, this is weather dependent, so it can get a little bit dicey and muddy or dirty. So just to make sure you bring the right materials and stake out a good spot to study that's not gonna damage your laptop or your textbooks. Now, if you're a high school student and you wanna really switch things up and you have a local public university, this is another really great place to study. Not only are there open green spaces, but there are also libraries and university centers, student unions. All of these places usually have some sort of student staked out working on their work. Seeing other students around you who are studying can be really helpful for your own motivation. And it can be inspiring just being in the college environment if you're envisioning yourself down the road in a place like that. Now, if you don't have access to a public institution like that, you can always just hit up a friend at another school because sometimes it's good to be in an academic place to do your studying. That's just not the place you see and work in every single day. Now, of course, it's always good to switch things up, moving to, from place to place. So if you have a study plan or if you have a long weekend that you need to cram in, you may want to block out periods of time and the locations that will go with your studying in those times. If you have fun places to go or you have a change of a scenery, sometimes this can help you stay motivated throughout a long, difficult study weekend. And don't be afraid to switch it up and try something new. What are your favorite places to study that aren't your home or school? Let me know in the comments below. Best of luck with your studying sessions. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.